Hey guys, it's Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Uh, it's the beginning of March. I think it's the 2nd of March. Uh, and if I had shot this video two days ago, of course, you would have saw all the sand and the ground and everything else. But we've had, uh, we had snow squalls yesterday and the joys of living in the Bruce Peninsula, I guess. Anyway, so I'm out at the homestead today. I hope the audio is okay. We're, we're trying out new mics and stuff on the cameras to try to get some better quality, but um, I won't know until editing time if it's any good, so I hope it's better. Um, so yes, we're out at the, I'm out at the homestead today, and because winter hit again, I had to start the day with my morning chores, which is just quickly going around to all the solar panels and wiping them off. And But before you do that, you've got to, you know, blowtorch your way to, to thaw all the locks and on all the cans and that's just a real pain in the butt. I'm ready for spring. That being said, uh, the pump house behind me, you can see it still has a little bit of work to do. Uh, there's some upcoming videos on some of the progress that's been going on inside of there, but it's time to change gears. Um, I have about, well not even a month now, uh, a little bit less than a month before I have to have the powerhouse done because our, our batteries um, are coming. Um. Anyway, 48 batteries. Um, the dimensions, like I said, they're pretty big and we have to store them somewhere. And I've been racking my brains trying to come up with a way to store them. Um, and what I finally decided is I'm gonna, in the, in the pump house behind me here, in text behind me, half of that or about 10 feet of it is going to be the powerhouse, as we're calling it. Uh, so this 10 foot room, 10 foot by eight foot by nine and a half foot, what I'm actually gonna do is build a false floor and all of the batteries will be under that floor and then all the electronics are on the wall but you're not tripping over the batteries every time. Uh, the floors are going to have panels probably I don't know between two and four feet long and about 16 inches wide or 14 inches wide that you can pick up or I'll have them hinged or something. So when I have to do my battery maintenance they'll be easy to get into but it still you know kind of clears the floor space so I can walk around in there. So I started that the other day. I'll give you a quick tour of what I've got done. The, the project for today, uh, I actually have to start cutting in some windows and doors into the shipping container. So that's kind of what this uh, this video is going to be. I'm going to get the doors cut in, or sorry, today I'm, I'm hoping to get a window cut in. I've never done it before. Uh, I don't really know what to expect or, and I don't even have a complete plan in my head as to what I'm going to do. I, I kind of have an idea. And I'm just going to kind of wing it and see, you know, hopefully it comes out. But, I guess that being said, um, I'll move on and uh, I'll start this, uh, I'll start getting this ready for uh, cutting through the can. So I'm inside of Tex. Uh, I started to do some of the framing for the powerhouse. I know, I feel a little bit like I cheated on you. <laughs> I had video footage of it, but all the files got corrupted, so you missed some of it. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got the I've got the floor down. Um, you'll actually be able to see the process for the floor when I when we do the bunking. But basically, I put one inch foam board uh, with with uh, five eighths tongue and groove plywood over top of it. Uh, you can see behind me here. I've got some of the I've got one of the walls framed in uh, with the door into the uh, into the the powerhouse as it, as, uh, as this room's going to be. Um, but what we're doing today is in this area right here. Uh, we picked up some windows on Kijiji for a heck of a deal. We have four of them, and they're like four foot by two foot.
and there's the hole cut. Okay, so I finished the frame. Um, what I ended up doing was welding on a piece on the very top here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just a piece of four inch cold rolled steel. That'll stop the water from coming in. Uh, and then I built a frame just out of two by fours. Uh, it's actually a three inch, three inches deep here because there's gonna be a foam board uh, for our insulation all the way along. So I went left. I just have to put on the tie wrap, the house wrap, and then uh, Jessica's gonna help me put in the window. So now we just try to set it up onto the bottom things. Oh, actually, let's Next time on the Forever Homestead, we're going to be completing the in interior walls uh, and we'll also be cutting in a, uh, an exterior door. Uh, I started with the window just because it was a little bit of a smaller project, but now that I've done this one, I think that maybe the door will be easier. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we love seeing the channel grow and we love the fact that now, you know, it seems like we're actually talking to some people instead of just ourselves. So, uh, you know, if you have any comments on this, make sure you put them down below and we'll uh, do our best to um, reply to everyone. Until next time, have a good one.